Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. I'm sure you could tell us any, any Thunderbird story and dance if you wanted to, or if you wanted to do an opera, you could, or if you wanted to make it to a ballet, you could. Um, the advantage we have is that if we use mime, we don't have a great reliance on vast amounts of set. Um, also, the original series was very fast-moving, very pacey, so that enables us to keep the show flowing a lot. It was quite difficult to pass on the, the skills and the techniques in the show um, of the puppet walk and the way the puppets move and some of the mime technique that's used in the show because we developed it over a period of time and as we made the show initially no one taught us we just figured it out for ourselves so we had to kind of develop a language and a way of explaining to, the, to them the way the eyes move from left to right and that they don't blink and blink for a very long time beep 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 international rescue oh hi son is scott with you fab father international rescue lady penelope speaking hi penny jeff here what have you got to report? Just one thing, Jeff. Mission accomplished. FAB. It should be an official secret, really, but the word FAB actually means nothing at all. Got this from Jerry Anderson. It's just a word of the 60s. Fab. Fabulous. The show is really for all ages. I mean, it's, it's extraordinary. This is why we've had such a wonderful reaction from the audience. It's so varied. Um, everybody gets involved, you know, adults and children alike. Everybody feeds off each other and we feed off the audience and it's all terribly exciting. It's, it's really quite a buzz.